Let's talk about shared folders in the Google Drive. Uh, for a lot of people, this has been a little bit of a confusing concept. So let me just show you some examples. Um, in the top window that I have up here, I'm in my school uh, Google account. And then down at the bottom, I'm in my personal Google account. So in live time, you're seeing two different Google accounts in what's going to happen. So let's say I have a folder that I'd like to share with someone else, and that someone else is going to be my personal Google. Um, I'm going to right-click. I created a folder up here in my school account, 123 Wilson Share. And I'm just going to right-click, and I'm going to click on Share. And right now, I don't have anybody else on it. I'm going to tap on Advance, and you'll see it's just me. Well, I'm going to invite someone else, which is my personal account, to work on this shared folder. Now, typically, ten, just click on Send. It will give you a question. You are sharing with somebody outside of your organization. And I'm going to say that, yes, that's OK. And you also want to make sure, do you want them to have editing files? Yeah, rights, yes. And then I am done. So down here on the other account, I'm going to go to Shared with me, and notice right away, oh, I have a file. I could also access through the, uh, the email that was sent, was generated, but I do see it down here. So let's say the things that I wanted to share with my personal account, I am going to create a Google Doc, and it does give me a little thing, this item created. Uh, will have the same sharing permissions as the selected folder. Okay, so it's just warning me. It's going to be whatever I put in here is shared with another person. Shared with me test. And let's just, there you go. All right, so I'm going to check in the other account. And sometimes you may need to do a quick refresh every once in a while. If you don't see it right away, just refresh. Oh, I see the shared with me test. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And because I have editing rights with the other account, let's see how fast this works. You can notice I'm looking at it both, and it does a pretty good job, even with some lag time, um, of keeping real-time edits in there. So let's say that's what I wanted to do. Close it out, and I'll close it out here. So basically, we have like a file within here that is shared, and what I want you to realize is with a shared folder, on this person, it's in their drive. And then for the other person, it's in the shared with me. The only difference between those, this person, the shared with me, may want to add this folder. They may want to add it to their drive only for organization purposes. That basically it'll organize it here and there. Otherwise, they can just leave it in the shared with me unless you do syncing um, with the actual Google Drive downloaded your computer. That is the other difference. I don't happen to do that, and I don't encourage that a lot of people do that. Um, so in a sense, just adding it to my drive will just be for organization purposes. Now, what's important to know, though, is it doesn't matter. What's more important with the shared folder is what happens to it when you do things with the folder or with items in the folder. Um, if this person right here says, you know what, oh, I don't need this document anymore, I'm going to show you what happens. Let's say I'm doing some cleaning up. I like to be a neat freak, and I'm worried about my space, and I'm going to remove it, which is this option down here. Now, it says one file remove, one is still accessible by the collaborator. Do you see what happened up top, though? It is instantly gone. Um, I no longer have access to it. I deleted it. This person could find it in their activity window. It'll 
say over here what happened and I'll pull this down a little bit um, but it's a big pain in the neck the owner of it can restore it but in the end I do not suggest that if you have a shared folder that you ever delete one specific file or a few files out of the folder that is where the problem lies um, what doesn't become a problem is actually in this folder if I just want if I'm on a shared with me somebody shared the folder with me if I simply and I may have to move this up just a second here if I simply remove the folder from my shared with me and I go up here to this and I check on it it's still shared with Cheryl Wilson she never did lose access so I didn't I didn't delete it from the other account so if you have a shared with me folder you can remove that and it's not gonna affect other people just you if you have a shared with me folder and you remove a specific file from it or move it or change it it will change it for everyone so hopefully this will make a little bit more sense and what to be careful on if not just contact me and we'll figure it out